does it feel to be 23? There's another song that's 23. What is it? Miley Cyrus. Oh, yeah. Do I not know? I don't know. Wait, this one. Alex Earl just made a video with that song. That's how I know it. She's 23? Yeah, she just turned 23. <laughs> Alex Earl. That's shocking. We are you new besties. Like yeah, so it's Jesse's birthday. Woo. Okay, I can't. and I'm gonna kind of recap you on everything. I'm gonna recap you on everything while I do my makeup for another event, so keep on watching. I just washed my hair. It's like really fluffy. I kind of like air dried it, blow dried it really quickly. Um, I'm gonna style it after I finish my makeup. I'm a bit in a time crunch. What else is new? I also wanna do my makeup for TikTok, so if the camera angles change a bit, that is why and if you don't follow me on tiktok you definitely should because i'm really active on there just started with my primer a little bit of a story about this primer i usually go for the rare beauty the other one the pore diffusing primer but by mistake i ordered always an optimist illuminating primer so i think this one focuses more on like having like glowy skin having that shine so i had to try it and honestly i really do like it since in the winter my skin gets so dried i've also been doing like chemical peels to help with scarring and active pimples and honestly this is really great because i think the other primer was focusing more on minimizing pores and then with the cream and with like my dry skin it kind of um you know when you like see like the residue that like, it would kind of like peel off a bit if you know you know the girlies that have struggled with that there's a word for it but this is actually really great because it helps with like just having like a kind of like a hydrated glowy look which is what i need when my skin is like super dry so i've actually been loving this and i don't think i'm gonna like return it or exchange it at sephora because i know you could do that so sometimes like you think you made a mistake but it's the universe putting you in the right direction because i love it and i'm gonna keep it so this might be a staple in my routine or maybe in the summer i'll go with like the pore diffusing primer um because i honestly really loved it in the summer okay so i don't know what look i'm going for today i'm really debating i'm wearing a dress from arden i'm so excited i bought a lot of stuff on their black friday sale a lot of like cute dresses like easy dresses like little black dresses arden has really good like staple pieces basics and a lot of like cute dresses actually so fun fact if you haven't shopped at arden in a while because i know like when i was younger i used to shop there a lot but there are some key great pieces so don't sleep on arden i'm telling you I drank a lot of coffee, so if I'm a little hyper, that is why. I think what I'm going to do is mix these like tanning drops, bronzing drops, with the Rare Beauty concealer and kind of put it all over my face. I don't want to put too much makeup, kind of like a natural look, and then maybe have like a fun eye. Okay, so right now I'm blending in the bronzing drops and the concealer. Now I'm going to go back in with the concealer and put it over some areas that have some pimples or some redness so i don't know if you guys have seen yet the tiktok trend where it's like they talk about like low visual weight versus like high visual weight because i fully agree that like big like lashes or dark makeup doesn't look the best on me so i think that's a really cool like trend that people are talking about right now i'm sure like makeup artists like have known about this because they know like face shapes and what looks best and whatnot but i thought that was like a really cool trend and even me like a filter to see like high visual makeup versus like low visual makeup would look on you so as you saw we had jess's birthday so it was like a super wholesome evening we ate we gave her her gift she absolutely loved it this week i also saw the mean girls musical like the new one that's out i'm a really big like mean girls fan the 
original movie is so iconic like you cannot tell me otherwise like i could watch that movie so many times and i've watched it so many times and i never get fed up of it it's just like such a good movie like no matter who you're with you're gonna laugh they're all gonna enjoy it like if we have it on like we're all just gonna laugh and like it's just like a feel-good movie it's funny it does have like a deeper message you know like me it's not cute to be a mean girl high school could be intense you know but i love how they like kind of poke fun of that during the movie and it's such a, it's such a good movie okay i obviously had to see like mean girls like this new mean girls like obviously so i went with like my friends and we had such a good time i'm gonna insert some clips right now Obviously, it can't replace the original Mean Girls, but like it was cute. I think it was more for like a younger audience. It was like a fun night out, and it was actually really funny. Not the biggest fan of musicals, so like I didn't have like that much of a high expectation. But it was like good for what it was. It was actually good, and like I love the cameos of the original cast. So if you haven't watched the movie, you actually should. That's like my honest opinion. Now I just put um some more concealer under my eyes because I wanted to like. I need the under eyes to look flawless, okay? Put some pressed powder to set the concealer. Back to more events of this week. We had Jess's birthday like out with like all the friends and everything. We went out clubbing. We also ate out as well. So we ate and then we ordered bottles and drinks and shots. And the DJ was like really nice. Like my friends have met him before at another event. He like bought us shots. Like he bought us way too many shots and it got my friend very drunk like she is hungover today but she's a birthday girl it's her birthday like as you should it's your birthday you have to go all out insert some clips right now of the clubbing last night it was such a good time oh and i wish i could put the music because the dj was really good my friend like purposely wanted to go to this club to hear this dj um but yeah so listen to this with the copyright free music enjoy <laughs> okay i'm back so i did my blush i did my eyes sparkly lid with some uh, bronzer in the corner of my eye not brown eyeshadow i use my bronzer i love like the consistency so i always use my bronzer as eyeshadow just in the outer corners you know when you do your makeup and like stuff gets everywhere so i'm just gonna quickly clean up um but i'm glad you got to see clips of my night out i have an event tonight i can't wait to wear this dress from our den it's my first time wearing it out i haven't worn it out since i bought it uh, so i'm just cleaning up my area really quickly the girlies know when you do your makeup like it's kind of chaotic how like, your makeup space could get so messy okay so i just cleared up my space with like a lysol wipe i find that like removes like makeup stains so easily in my last video if you haven't watched it yet you definitely should in my last video, I did some shopping at Sephora, and that's when I got like the um, Rare Beauty primer and like a few other things. So you should definitely watch that video. I got this MAC lipstick, and I was so excited because like brown lip liner is super trendy right now, and like I think it looks really great. However, it doesn't look the best on me. It's kind of orange, so I really need to go like return, exchange. Now I'm going to do my lips and change, and I'll get back to you okay so this is the completed look i completed makeup i did my hair see you in my next video bye